Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer. We are back playing Sid Meier's Pirates. And in the last episode, we... What did we do? Right, we got started again uh, because uh, we had lost our save and so we had to restart. But thankfully, we were not too far into it. Uh, we are heading generally... Let's see here. We are here. We are going to be heading generally. We need to head much more east than we were uh, because we want to talk to the English and the French and get our letters of mark so that we can be love for have love for everyone except for the Spanish. And not because we have anything against the Spanish at all. It's they have all the money and we are pirates. And so, you know, that's how that's going to work out. Who is that? Who are you? You are a trade galleon. And you are a, another trade... A what? We are bound for... Okay. So look at you. Tack, tack, tack. Oh, we're going so slow now. Let's see. where. How, how are we doing? We are here. We are moving very slow. Oh, this... This, is, this part I disliked tremendously. The... Um, the wind aspect of the game while certainly I suppose no get out of the rain while certainly I suppose realistic um, was a pain in the butt because you have to go sometimes very far places and why does that guy seem like he's following us so I thought there was a hot key that allowed you to make time go faster which, you know, obviously made your age go uh, higher. So the date down there at the bottom would uh, obviously uh, ticked away more quickly. But it made these uh, trips over the ocean much more tolerable. All right, let's go. Come on, we got to get... Now, I, I think that dropping your sails will help you if you get caught in a storm it'll keep the wind from tearing them up too much it is times like this that i wish i had opt oh we are going so slow oh pat <laughs> this is so bad all right we're gonna go up we're gonna try to cut cut diagonally across this wind and make some better time because the wind is going 12 knots against us now, if I can skirt the south side of this and then just whip around it. I tried to do something fancy there. You may not have noticed it because it was ineffective. So, all right, let's go. But the wind is ridiculous. But it is calming a little. So what is this up here? It is French. Oh, no. Let's take the sails down. Oh, that seemed to have worked. Well, what do you know? Look at that ship. She's super fast. Prosperous French capital. Nice. But apparently we're going to go super slow. All right. Let's talk to the governor. My dear Mr. Midnight, please come in. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> you may be interested to know we are at war with the perfidious English. I am very interested to know that. I understand that you recently captured a pirate brig. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. The king will be pleased. Well, ooh la la to that. I am pleased to offer you a letter of mark which authorizes you to ponder and sink the ships of our enemies. Blah, blah, blah. This is a map that I also got on eBay because the Dutch guy said it was a good place to buy maps. All right, the map will show you the nearest enemy city is the English city of Barbados, which lies a short distance to the southeast. Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to have to go there. We're going to get a letter of Mark, but we're not going to tell you because we don't want you to know that. Au revoir, Mr. Midnight. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. All right, let's go to the tavern. Let's pick up. Let's go to the tavern and pick up men. All right, thank you, fellas. Come on board. Yeah, let's do it. Do the pirate. 
A mysterious traveler offers to sell you a part of the secret map showing the location of the pirate Jack Rackham's buried treasure for 300 gold pieces. Um, I'll take it. Because we just got treasure. We'll get another treasure. It's in, the, it's in the vicinity of Trinidad. Well, there's Trinidad. And there's the treasure. And there's an Indian totem and an Indian totem and a geyser and the Inca temple. We may have, <clears throat> excuse me, Pat. We may have all the datas we need to find the treasure with this one part of the map. Thanks, Joe. That was not very smart. But, you know. Hello, miss. Over a thousand gold. Ooh. Hey, my eyes are up here. My eyes are up here. All right. All right. <clears throat> so. You are here. That is there. And that is not where we're heading. Hello, guy. Have I? Uh, no, I was not introduced to the daughter. She's a real beauty. Oh, and you have an eye for governor daughter flesh, I bet you. So darn. Yeah, so darn. All right. All right, let's go trade with the merchant. Uh, what do we got? We got luxuries. It's only 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's got money. So we'll take his money. And... And we will, okay, we're going to do this and uh, say goodbye for now. And then let's go to the shipwright. Hmm. <laughs> Trade galleon and a brig. I think we're going to stay with, with this guy. Wait, how much it holds? 90, 199 tons. All right, first of all, I know we're selling this. Sell. Bye-bye. And 10, really, for this? All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, give her a good repair. We'll upgrade. All right. So now we have our battleship. R. So now we're going to go see the English. Now, can I get through here? Because the English city is on the other side, right? You are here. Yep, I was right. I was right. See, there it is. Barbados. And here we go. Cutting. New governor has arrived in Martinique. The economy flourishes. Wow. Good for you, Martinique. English smuggler. Oh, shh. I won't say anything. They're English smuggler. The troops have arrived. And so has midnight. Let's go talk to the governor, shall we? My dear Mr. Midnight, please come in. <laughs> <laughs> we may wish to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish, the slimy French, and the greedy Dutch. Because we can't get along with... Anyone? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I understand you recently captured a pirate brig. Excellent. The king will be pleased. I'm pleased to offer you a letter of mark, which authorizes you to plunder and sink ships for our enemies. Cost this valuable document 250 gold pieces? What? Dang it. I don't want to have to pay for my letter of mark, but you know what? If you were Spanish, I would not do it. Of course, if you were Spanish, I wouldn't take your letter of mark for nothing. I'm not going to attack no damn French either. So you can put your eBay map away. Broseph? All right. Good day, Mr. Midnight. All right. Let's visit the tavern. I gather that they discuss later, including the fact that you received the English letter of Mark. Yeah, I've received it. You let me tell you the rest of the story. 250 gold coins. Who would you like to talk to? I'd like to talk to this, uh, this dance troupe over here. Let's talk to these fellas. All right, fellas, welcome aboard. Yeah, all right. A mysterious traveler offers to sell you an additional part of a secret map showing the location of Jack Rackham's buried treasure for 150 well, gold pieces. Well, I would, Joe. I kind of like you, but you kind of sold me all the map I needed, but 
Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it simply because, first of all, it's 150. Joe's a good guy. And there may be something on that half of the map that I really need to see. And there is not. There is not. I just gave away $150 for nothing. Because we had all of this. You know what? But it was it was good. We'll need him later. And he probably won't remember that we did that for him. It's pretty quiet around here, sweetie. Um, is that the information? That's all you have to tell me? Uh, thank you? Yes. Thank you is correct. The ship right in Trinidad can upgrade your ship with triple hammocks if you like. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. That your ship will carry more crew. So that is good. So we will keep that in mind. Trinidad. All right, let's go. And check status. Let's see. Let's look at our R. Let's look at our map. Okay, I don't want that. Um, we are here. Let's. Okay, well, these, this is all going to be up through here is all going to be allies and friends and people who have marked us with their letters. But San Juan and Santa Domingo and some of this stuff up here can be pretty fat. So maybe let's still make our way up here and uh, poach some stuff along the way. So let's get get her done and get her gone. <clears throat> so we need to start taking out some Spanish. We have our marks in the three um, with the three other nations. So well, hello Spanish trade galleon. I was just talking about eating your sandwich. I believe you will go down now. Wait, I have, I has no, oh, you have no upgrades. I have, oh, oh, did you see how I split the baby there? Sweep, sweep the leg. Oh, oh, dude, so bad. Eat that and get around, get around, get around, get around. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Woohoo! And down. And bottom. And top. And out. Nice. That was a little better. Still not uh, breathtaking, but a little better. Nahar. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, we beat you up pretty bad. For some reason, I don't think that the haul damage and sail damage percentages are accurate. Because it seems like I see these numbers and they're really low. And then when I try to unload the thing, uh, <clears throat> the numbers are so much higher. So we'll take off. And we will get going. So we are going to continue to make our way <coughs> excuse me up the coast and then maybe just uh, weave in through here and then into the and then maybe up, even head up toward Havana what do you think we'll see if that's a good plan and hopefully along the way we will find a bunch of S Spanish ships to you know, harass. There's another Spanish trade galleon. All the ships say, like, how long they've been at sea. So I wonder if, like, you take a ship and um, it's been out for a while, if it has, like, less food by the time you get to it. Another trade galleon. Eh. Yeah, but he's already... He made it. He's on base. He's on base. And you are English. Alright, so we'll make our way up.
Ooh, let's see what these other buttons are. Um, what is fleet status? Oh, nice. So we can do that. What is all this? Load save. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Top ten pirates. Where are we? We're down at the bottom. Yeah, we gotta start taking out some pirates. For sure. Who are you? Are you another? Uh, what do you call it? A what? Indian war canoe. Oh, I bet you got a lot of good stuff. No offense to the indigenous people, but it's a canoe, so you know. All right, how are we doing? All right, so we're gonna sneak uh, sneak our way up <clears throat> along the north coast of Puerto Rico. Dutch smuggler. You go with your bad self, Dutch smuggler. Hello, San Juan. You're prosperous. I'm going to stay away because you might shoot at me. Spanish trade galleon. You know what? I'm going to add insult to your injury, and I'm going to take this galleon out right outside your fort. Wait. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to miss completely. What the heck? Hitbox? I'm coming for you. Uh, you know I'm coming for you. Come on. Get, 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 get. See, I'm too close. Oh, I'm not close enough. All right, now, now. Wait, wait, what? Attack, attack. Push the right buttons, midnight. Oh, you're coming about. What's that a boot? Oh, no. Oh, swing and a miss. Hey, Spanish guy, you suck. Oh, so do I. Man, and I missed you a lot more times than you missed me. Oh, I see you. I see you coming about. I see you coming about. Oh, I totally missed. Come on. Let's do the 360 no scope. Some scope. Whoa, who are the gunners on my ship? My gunners are drunk. That's just all there is to, I'm just riding right into the cannon. That's fantastic. That's good driving. That's good driving. All right, we'll take you. Oh, that was terrible. What were we doing? All right, uh, the courage, and we got 24 sailors, and they're volunteering, so good for them. Hello, boyos. We will take all your stuff, and we blowed up your ship pretty good, so we're going to sink, sink her very much. <clears throat> and the reason that sometimes you'll want to uh, sink the ships is because... Um, Uh, the more ships you have, the more men you have to dedicate to uh, to crewing each of the ships. So the fewer men you will have at um, available. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, dude, you just sank that ship. Who are you? Oh, you're the Rock. Rock, you going down with it? Oh, did you just? Yes, it is on like Donkey Kong. So this is how we are going to end it. This episode is going down. And they are going down. Look at them. They're so happy. They got more men than we do. And probably a better pirate at the helm. So we are going to have to just end this fast. Hi, pirate guy. How does he have a gun? Who brings a gun to a sword fight? Besides Indiana Jones. You're not Indiana Jones, sir. I know Indiana Jones. He is a friend of mine. And you, sir, are not Indiana Jones. Let's go. Let's knock him into the water quickly. Oh. Ow. Oh, crap. <laughs> Get back. No, 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 no. Midnight. We are losing.
Okay, maybe I had a duck. Oh no, I'm not. I'm doing bad. I may die before my crew does. Oh, thank goodness. I did not deserve to win that, but I'm going to take it. Oh, man. Off camera, I have to practice my up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be, be a start of it all. Uh, quartermaster, nice. I could use some training, though, not going to lie. Welcome aboard, lads. Okay, we got a bunch of gold. We will take all. We'll keep the ship. Ugh, that was a terrible, terrible battle. I did not deserve to win that. But it is a nice way to end the episode. So, well, at least the winning part was. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to start a conversation, why don't you start one? Where? In the comment section below. Button mashing, FTW. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Day.